Good morning. Welcome to Day Spring. Please stand and worship with us. Verses 6 through 13. While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. So this next song is loosely based on that, and it's about bringing whatever we have, all that we have, in an act of worship to him. exactly how I feel and I can't begin to tell you what your love has meant I'm lost for words Is there a way to show that passion in my heart Can I express how truly great
Good morning, church. Will you join me in prayer? Oh, gracious Father, you pour your love on us, and we come today to pour our love on you. May our offering today be ourselves. May we come with hearts and minds that are open to hear what you would speak to us today through the message that Pastor Chuck will bring. Lord, we're grateful for this day. May we stand in awe of you. May this not just be a regular day that we just come and we listen and we leave, but today would be different, that our hearts would be inclined to you to hear as your Holy Spirit speaks to each and every one of us, that we would be alert to what you want us to hear. And Lord, as we walk out those doors today, may we give you all the praise and glory as you pour your love on us. You forgive us. You love us so very much, and we are so grateful. Thank you for this day, for every person that has walked through that door, Lord, whether it be a baby or a child or a youth or an adult, Lord, we are here. And we are here to hear from you. So, Lord, thank you. Some of us come weary from the week. Some of us have had a good week. Things went well. But for those of us that are just struggling, Lord, to hear you, give us that extra ounce of grace and favor that we would genuinely be ready to hear what you want and that we would respond in a way that pleases you above all else. Thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for your amazing love. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> The head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now. The Savior knelt to wash our feet. Now at His feet we One who wore our sin and 
love for a three.